Hi everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a face cam video or a webcam video to your captured gameplay video in Premiere Pro. This project is for the times when you're recording the sources offline and then you'll be combining them in Premiere Pro and then uploading them to YouTube. At some point in the future, I'll do a video showing you how to add a webcam or a face cam to your live YouTube or Twitch streams, but I won't be covering that today. One of the advantages of creating your videos like we are today is that you have complete control over the relative audio volumes of the various sources and you can adjust them if you need to throughout the finished video. Whereas if you're combining them all at point of capture, say with something like OBS or something like that, you'll have to be very careful you get all the audio levels right. Because generally when you record them, it will squash them all into one video file and you could end up with an unlistenable or unwatchable final product. The gameplay video, I captured it using my Ava Media LGP Lite and the ReCentral software, and the Facecam webcam footage is a Logitech C920 webcam recorded with the Logitech software. The Facecam video and the gameplay video were captured at the same time because it's a live commentary that I'm doing. Um, but we had to do certain things at the beginning of the recordings to make it easier to sync them up in post-processing. And it's worth noting that this technique works equally well when syncing gameplay videos with simple audio commentary, again, that you record at the same time. If I were just adding a general commentary to the top of the gameplay, where it didn't matter that what I was saying matched up with what was happening on the screen, because it was something unrelated, like a review or something like that, then you, know, you wouldn't have to go through this extra little thing. What you have to remember to do is start everything recording, then do something in the game as you're talking about it in the audio. My usual technique is to say, going into the menu now, and then when I say now, I click on the menu in the game. This gives me a simple point of reference to allow me to sync the gameplay and face cam footage so what I'm saying matches up with uh, what's happening on the screen. Okay, so now let's get on with putting the video together in Premiere Pro. So here we've got Premiere Pro all fired up. I've uh, saved it under Black Ops 3 Slippers Premiere Pro project because that's kind of the title of, the, well, probably going to be the title of the video that Black Ops 3 is like a nice pair of slippers that you put back on. And you can see in my project bin down here, I've already preloaded the webcam and uh, there's the gameplay footage. So I'm going to start off by sliding the gameplay footage on, like so, and that will then populate the timeline. And then I'm going to bring over the... Oop, not that one. Just pick up and bring over the webcam and we're going to put it on top like that. So at the moment, I haven't resized it or anything. We're just going to get the uh, get the audio syncing up. So first things first, I'm just going to mute the audio on the uh, gameplay and just listen to the point where I say the menu thing. There we go. So I've gone past it. So just play that. In fact, let's go back to the beginning. You can see what I start to say. Right, so that that's that now. So I know if I um, press C to bring the bring the cut button up and press that, and then press V to get rid of that. So what I can now do is if I blank that one off and unmute the game but mute that one I know if I look for at the point in this video the gameplay where I go into the multiplayer that will be the point that will match up with the audio there we go so dunk so it's like that if you want to get it really exact you could press uh, the zoom button or press Z and zoom in a little bit just to get it right on that point we're going into multiplayer now like that press C to cut that V to bring that back up and now what I can do is if I just slide these videos up like so, the audio and the um, video will match up. But as you can see at the moment, if I bring back up the webcam, I'm too big. <laughs> but what we'll do, we'll just get to the beginning of the video and then I'll, I'll cut it and then we'll resize it. Dum -de dum -de dum See when the game starts. <laughs> Right, here we go. Hi, everybody. That's what I always start with it. Hi, everybody. Right, so let's cut that. And what we have to remember is we've cut, we cut the webcam and we cut the gameplay. Um, press V to get our tool back up. 
delete, delete. And at this point, we can now click in the space and go ripple delete, and that will knock everything back. So what I do now is if I click on the, uh, the top video li uh, line, which is the webcam, and then just double click on my face, I can then grab the sliders and I can resize it. And I could come up and plonk it up. I don't know. Plonk me up there. What do you think? Is that enough out of the way? And then if I then play it, blah de blah <laughs> and various prattle now the thing we want to check out now is the various audio levels because it could be that the audio levels in the game get a little bit too high when we're fighting so let's just review what that will sound like okay that's not too bad but what I did notice was that when I was recording the gameplay video, because I was just listening to it quietly through my TV, there are some people chattering away on chat, which I don't particularly want in, you know, on top of what I'm saying. So I'm going to drag the, that slider down. So the gameplay will now be much quieter. But you should be able to still hear the guns, but hopefully you won't be able to hear the chat, people, you know, chatting away as much. Let's have a see. See if I actually get to kill somebody. So that's okay, so you could hear that explosion, couldn't you? Oh dear. Okay, so that's good. So I'm happy with that relative um, um, volume controls. Uh, so I can play with that. If I wanted to increase it, actually make me a little bit noisier, I could slide that one up as well. So now as I talk. Now, one thing I don't like actually about me uh, up here is the way that the webcam's recorded it. It's, it's widescreen, isn't it? And I'm not sure if I really want it to be widescreen. I want it to be a bit of a smaller square so you just see my head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over to effect controls and making sure that the webcam um, video in the timeline is selected. I'm going to go over to motion. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm doing that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since I go to effects and in the effects box search for crop. There we go. And down here you'll see the crop will appear. And then grab crop and drop it on top of your uh, webcam video. And then you'll see you get the crop option turn here. And then you see it says left and right. So what I can do now is I can put my mouse pointer over there and just dra see how I'm dragging the dragging it in. So let's drag it in, I don't know what, 10% say. And then let's, so that's left and the right. Let's drag that in 10%. That's better. You don't need to see much of me, do we? See the nice curtains in the background. So that, that's quite good, isn't it? Let's just play it a little bit. So that's good. And now let's say I also think, oh, I'm not too fond of um, of the way that the colour looks on the webcam. Let's say I want to go back and um, do some colour correction. And so we can apply a filter just to that if we wanted as well. So we then we could go to uh, video effects, colour correction, and then we could just apply, uh, is there an auto colour is there? Change colour, change to colour, channel mixer, Fast color corrector. I don't really want to use that one. Uh, well, okay. Well, let's use the fast color corrector because that's a. It's a bit complicated, but you can drop that on like so. Right. Yeah, sorry. Fast. Here we go. So we slide down here, and then what you can do with the fast color corrector is you can use the white balance to just choose something that should be white in the picture. So in this case, it's probably there. And I could tap that. Uh, a little bit later. I'd say probably I look a little bit orange, don't I? So then I could grab this and then slide it around more to the blue side. Anyway, it's only a webcam, so who really cares? But again, you can do that. So the final thing, I guess, that we would want to do is... Uh, actually, there's two more things we want to do. We want to add a nice little bumper on the front. So let's grab my scale speed uh, gaming. 
and let's slide that onto there and then you can see that there let's make it a little bit longer and then let's put a transition onto that we just want it to fade in so we go to video transitions dissolve additive dissolve plug that on there that on there just play it just to make sure it looks okay right i'll just show you one more thing actually how to do a crop how to do a cut sorry so if we go to the end of this game let's zoom out a little bit so press z or click the zoom to press alt and then left click so we can move through the footage faster there we go actually we've got a long way to go haven't we so this is nuke town because there, there'll be a because i've recorded two games there'll be a big bit in the middle where the screen's just loading and we don't really want to have to make people sit through that where they're watching my YouTube video. Here we go. So, so this bit here. Say I want to get rid of this section here. So again, I'll bring the C button up. Press cut. And just remember to cut both of the videos. We have to keep them together. And then what we can do is we can clear that one or delete, press delete. And then with this one, we can do ripple delete. And so they both come up at the same time. So that means the the audio and video from the webcam will stay matched up with what's happening on the screen and then obviously we could do our little bit at the end so press C just to see where the end is Okay, so that's good for the end of the video. Click there, click there. This with the C to cut them off. Cut these end bits off. Excuse me for my sniffing. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Go back to my project bin. Drop my M bumper in. Make it a little bit longer. And then double clip on the transition. So it does a fade to black. Double click on the end so it, so it fades back to black. Let's just play that end bit. Okay, so I'm happy. Now, that's basically it. And what we would then do is let's file, save it. I think it should be saving to go along. And do file, export, and export media. And do the normal Premiere Pro saving thing. Now, there is... The, the video itself has brought up an interesting problem there at the end. And this is a perennial problem with webcams. Um, and let's see if you can see it. So watch what watch me when I'm talking. No. And you see, the audio from the webcam has gone out of sync with the video from the webcam. But if we go back to the beginning of the video, where I'm chatting here... It's fine. And what you find is, and the Logitech C920 does this, and lots of webcams do this, especially well, HD high-definition webcams... As they're recording, because there's so much data they're trying to shove down the USB lead and onto your hard drive, you get this slow um, unsyncing of the audio from your webcam um, to the uh, video of your webcam, even though it's recording it into the same file. And I've done quite a lot of work on uh, getting rid of this, because I used to record most of my videos for my other main sort of technology um, and photography channel using webcams and I used to have a horrendous trouble with this with this unsyncing because you rec you'd record you know a 20 minute video and by the end the, the video was unusable because the difference would be so much between what I was saying you know, the audio and what you could see on the screen and again it looks stupid and the things you can kind of do are make sure you close all programs that shouldn't be running disconnect from the internet um, basically free up all the resources on your on your computer so that the processor can can allocate lots of uh, power to the webcam and that would often help and also recording in small chunks as well not doing massive trying to do massive half an hour 45 minute long videos but doing small 10 minutes videos and then editing them together but this kind of desyncing uh, unsyncing of audio and video in the same video file would still occasionally 
rear its ugly head. And I'm sure if you've watched plenty of videos on YouTube where people are recording face cams and webcams, you'll see the lips don't always match up with the uh, with the visuals. So don't get too het up on it. It's just something that happens and it's difficult to get around. If it doesn't happen with your webcam, fantastic. But maybe another option, and this is what I kind of ended up doing with my other channel, was I stopped recording video using a webcam. I used an SLR and compact cameras, and even your phone would sometimes uh, be better. So in my particular instance, although I've done this with webcam footage today, if I was doing this sort of recording in the future, I would probably get my DSLR out or a compact video, compact camera out and record the video separate like that. Because, gen well, with those, with my SLR or compact cameras, there is never any unsyncing between the audio and video on the video file that you get off them. Um, it just really happens with uh, with webcams that are trying to do that. Anyway, just a little bit of a, a hint and a tip at the end. So I hope this video has been useful. I kind of show you how you can add um, your uh, webcam or face cam to your game footage and do a little bit of editing too. Um, again, in the fu fu future, in the future, I'll do one featuring um, adding a webcam or a face cam to uh, your live stream. But to be honest, that you can, <laughs> it can get very tricky, um, and there are programs like OBS that you can you can use to to do all this stuff. But I've found that unless you've got a very powerful PC, you can end up with all sorts of syncing problems, and uh, basically you end up with lots and lots of data trying to get into your computer that you then have to shove into a stream. So you've got like your webcam, you've got your audio and you've got your gameplay all trying to come in and and it can be an awful lot of hassle. I think probably one of the easiest ways is if you want to put your face on your streams and you have a PS4 is just to buy the PlayStation 4 camera and use that because then that will you can, you can just set that up on your PlayStation 4 and as part of your stream that it's firing out it'll add your face cam and the audio from your um from what you're recording as well and that's probably a nice simple solution anyway that's enough for me if you've got any questions about all of this or maybe other things you want me to cover on these tutorial uh, based videos please put them in the comments down below or email me scalesbrew.gmail.com because that does give me lots of ideas to do future videos um, and uh, obviously any comments as well if you enjoy the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very very much for watching and I will see you again soon